Hi everyone, it's Karen here from tuppenscolor.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, this is what I'm going to be making today. It's a little origami treat pouch. Now, if you follow this channel, you might have seen the, uh, the, the video that I put up uh, a little while ago uh, where I showed the swaps that I picked up at, the, uh, at, at our training day and um, our conference in Telford which is called On Stage and if you haven't seen it and you want to see all the, the beautiful little swaps that I uh, that I traded for then please do go and look that one up um, but one of the things that I got was from my teammate Heidi Smith uh, we belong to uh, Sam Hammond's team uh, the Poodlers and Heidi loves her origami and her, her fancy folds and this was what she swapped with us she, she gave us a, a little treat pouch with a little with a little sweetie inside and I showed that on my video and I think it was Gillian said well, can we please have some origami so your wish is my command and I went away and I found out how that treat pouch was folded and that is what I'm going to show you today so stay with me and we'll see how we get on I'm going to demonstrate the folds first of all on a piece of uh, crumb cake envelope paper because I think it will be easier for you to see the folds uh, if I don't do it on a piece of pattern paper and I've cut this piece 8 by 8 now the finished treat pouch uh, I cut at 6 by 6 but you can make these any size that you want the important thing is that you start with a square piece of paper and if your paper has a pattern that you want on the outside that needs to be down facing the table so in other words face down when you start so I'm starting by Folding corner to corner, and then I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to do the same thing again. So now I'm taking this point and folding it in to the middle, and I'm making sure my creases are lined up. Round, and I'm going to do the same thing again and then I'm going to take this edge and I'm going to fold it into the middle oops I'm trying not to drop my bone folder and make a funny noise on the table and then I'm going to do the same thing again All right, you with me so far? so now I'm going to open it back out again and now I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to line it up with that corner All right so this corner to that corner and I'm making that sort of shape and I'm going to put that down and now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to take that corner and line it up with that corner. Sorry, that corner to that corner. And I'm just going to be careful about creasing. And I'm going to carry on doing that all the way around until I've done it four times. So I'm developing a square or a, a diamond, depending on which way you look at it, in the base of the pouch. And the last time, so this corner to match. Oops, I've already done that one. So it's this corner to match that corner. So you keep track of where you've been. Okay. So I'm going to open that out so that you can see where all of the creases are. Okay. So now I'm going to fold that corner up to the edge of that fold. So I'm tucking my little triangular point, I'm tucking it out of the way. That's going to be the edge of my bag. So now I'm 
folding it in half and I'm going to sharpen up all my creases. Train these creases on the points on the end. Right, now, this is the only bit that I think really is, is slightly tricky. I'm putting my thumb inside there and I'm holding on to the point there and I'm just bringing that down. And on the back, I want to line up this crease with this crease. And I'm creating a squash hole. Okay, I'll do it again. So I'm holding on, holding, putting my thumb, my finger into inside, and I'm just bringing that down, I'm turning it over, and I'm lining up that crease to that crease so that I've got one continuous crease line going through. Now, um, the version that Heidi gave me uh, had, had left the points, as you can see them there. Uh, I've seen this done elsewhere uh, with the point folded in at this point. So just show you again what I'm doing. I'm holding that with the point away from me. I'm putting my thumbs in there and keeping that from unfolding and I'm just folding that out. Okay, so I'm going along the edge there. Now at this point, if you want to, you can fold that flap in and that will help hold the whole thing together or you can just put a couple of glue dots or you can just let the shape itself hold it. All right, so on that side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And now it's just a matter of letting the folds, we hope, collapse into the shape that we want. And it's a little tough there because the paper's quite, quite thin. And that is the shape. Again, I'll get my full folder. I'm just going to crease down on those edges. Okay. So there's the shape of the treat patch. Okay, so now I'm going to do it again, speed it up using the DSP. And I want this side to be my pretty side. So I'm going to start with, uh, with that face down. Ready? Here I go. Okay, so there's my patent treat pouch. Now on the um, on the first one I made, I just put a glue dot there just to keep it in place. But this one, uh, I think I want to be a bit fancy with. So I've got my uh, quarter inch hole punch here, and I'm going to punch in a couple of holes. So try and line the edge of it up with the with the fold here. Again. So now it looks like a, a fish with two eyes. <laughs> uh, 
I guess I worry about my head sometimes. It's not as even as it could be. Never mind. Nobody noticed. Right, I have uh, mint macaron paper here. Paper, ribbon. Oh, mint macaron dotted lace ribbon, which is so pretty. Um, but it's going to be leaving this soon. In fact, I like this DSP. That's, you know, it's all going to be retiring because the brand new Stamping Up catalogue is coming out at the beginning of June. So I've got my piercing tool here. So I'm going to bring a ribbon through from the back. And some from this side. Actually, I've got probably got way too much ribbon here but never mind we can cut it off afterwards and just going to tie that up Tied that upside down, not to worry. <laughs> we'll fix it in post production. <laughs> we'll fix it in the edit. That's better. That's more like it. Right, so I'm going to pull that end, and I'm going to pull that end, and I'm going to bring my scissors back. And I'm just going to trim away the bit I don't want. There it was gone. All I want to do now is to put a sentiment on to the front. So I've got a piece of a very vanilla paper, just a little scrap, and I'm using this stamp set, which is called Six Sided Sampler, and I'm using that stamp, Hello Sweet Friend, which I've already inked up in, in basic black. So I'm just going to bring that in so you can see it and stamp. And that's a, another set that's retiring so if you want it you need to check that we've got stocks of it uh, really quickly because things are selling out very very quickly. So I've chopped up my very vanilla with my uh, one and three quarter by seven eighths of an inch large oval punch and that is also retiring as is the large uh, the scalloped oval punch there are a lot of stamping up demonstrators um, needing therapy at the moment because uh, we were we were quite shocked because some of these punches have been with us a long time and they're all favourites and we really really love them but uh, I've seen the new catalogue and there's lots of gorgeousness coming along so you know we have to make room we have to make room for these things because otherwise the catalogue would be uh, you know would be in 20 volumes and nobody would buy it nobody would want it nobody would be able to find anything okay so I've got the, um, the enamel dots and again retiring uh, these are in the, um, the spring summer catalogue and they have mint macaron, um, melon mambo and I think that's daffodil delight. Uh, and I'm going to be using the mint macaron enamel dots. Now um, if I bring back the original one uh, which I did with watermelon wonder ribbon uh, we don't have watermelon wonder enamel dots, um, but these are Calypso coral candy dots. Also, guess what? Retiring, uh, and the colour is near enough that it, it you know, it, you don't really notice the difference as long as there's another colour in between. So that's what I used on that one. But on this one, I'm using the enamel dots in mint macaron and dimensionals. Dimensionals are not retiring. <laughs> I don't know what we would do if stamping up retired dimensionals. 
they must sell thousands and thousands and thousands of these and if you count them by dimensional rather than by, by packet they must have sold millions but they're very very good you know they do what they say on the tin they keep they give your project a bit of dimension and that then is going to go on to the front of my treat pouch and there is the finished treat pouch so if I bring back the the one that I made in the plain um, crumb cake, couldn't think, of the, couldn't think of the word. And as you can see, that is that one was a six by six inch to start with, and that was eight by eight. And as you can see, uh, there's so you, th there is a difference. You could, you could, I don't know, could you go to four by four? I suppose if you were, you'd have to have pretty thin paper, I think, to go to four by four. But I suppose it could be done. You could certainly go larger. You could certainly go to ten by ten or twelve by twelve. So there are the two finished treat pouches. This one with the, the watermelon wonder ribbon and this one with the mint macaron. And I do hope that you have enjoyed uh, this tutorial. And if so, then please do give me a, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Did you like the origami? Would you like to see more of it? Uh, I have a blog and I have a Facebook page uh, and you can get there by looking for Tuppence Coloured or you can use the more information box below um, I have a stamping up shop so and you can also get to there from those links uh, if you have enjoyed this and you'd like to see more then please do subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more videos soon but for now that's it for today thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you again soon bye bye <music>